Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to quickly and easily create an account on XT.com, deposit your first money and leverage trade any cryptocurrency in a few simple steps. To create an account on XT.com, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you get to exactly this page right here. You can choose your country right here. Just click on confirm and then you will get to this page right here and you can see the code is added so you get the 20% discount on all trading fees forever. Then you can just enter your details right here and you're ready to go. Alright, so once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this right here. And the first thing we have to do is to activate a second layer of security and to do that we simply go up here to our account and then we go to the security center. We actually, to deposit money, we have to use right here, as you can see, a two-factor authentication. In my case, I always recommend you just use the Google Authenticator, so if you don't have it set up, it's really simple, just download the app, and then you can set it up right here, and you will always get a code sent to your phone, so you have a second layer of security. And once you have done that, we can now deposit money. And to do that, we simply go up here to funds, and then we click on spot. This right here is actually the area where you can see all of your funds. You can also go back here to overview, then you will see all the different accounts that are available. In my case, always if you deposit something, just use the spot account with just the main account. So you simply go in here and then up here you can click on deposit. Now you can choose the currency that you want to deposit. So you can simply click here and choose for example Bitcoin. Then you can choose the network. In this case, let's just choose the normal official Bitcoin network. And once you've done that, you will get your Bitcoin address right here. You can copy that to your clipboard, send Bitcoin here, and then you have it on your account. This also obviously works for any other cryptocurrency. For example, I often use US dollar Tether. You can choose different networks. I, for example, like to use the Tron networks because it has low, very low fees. And then you get your address right here and you can send over the Tron network some USDT to your account right here. And as you can see, if I scroll down here, I've done that with a little bit over $100. And then you can see it arrived like if in a few minutes. All right, if I go up here, that's actually how you can deposit cryptocurrencies. Now I also want to show you how you can deposit money with fiat currency. So if you have US dollars, if you have ERA, you don't have crypto yet and you want to deposit money here, that's also possible. And to do that, you simply go up here, you click on buy crypto and now you have different options. I prefer to use the third party payment option. So if you click on that, as you can see, you can say now, okay, I want to spend, let's say, uh, 200 US dollars. And then you can obviously choose US dollar, but you can also choose, for example, if you search up here for euro, you can choose euro, you can search up for GBP if you use the British pound. So whichever currency you like, you can just simply select right here. Then you can choose what you want to receive. You can choose from all these cryptocurrencies directly, but you can obviously also just lo look for, for example, USDT and choose USDT, and then you can trade with it on here, of course. Um, in this case, let's just go for Bitcoin to demonstrate it's, it doesn't matter whatever currency you want to have on here. Then you can choose your payment method. So you can choose, for example, Visa card, MasterCard, Apple Pay. You can make a normal bank transfer via the SEPA network if you live in the European Union. And you can see Master is also an option, so or just a normal bank wire transfer. So whichever one you want to use, in this case, let's just go, for example, for Visa card, we have a Visa card, then just click on continue. And then you can see you have different payment options that you can use, which are also very familiar. For example, Simplex, Banksa, they're really popular. So you can just choose one of them, just click on confirm. You can also directly see how much Bitcoin you're getting in this case. Just click on confirm right here. And you can see again at what exchange price you're getting it. I can, you can click right here and click on continue. And then you will get to an option right here. So you can use your credit card or you can use the SEPA or SWIFT transfer. So a bank transfer, whichever one you would like. In this case, I want to use my credit card. So I can click on continue. And now I have to enter all of my card details right here. And then once I've done that, it won't take long until my funds arrive right here on my XC.com account. All right, so once you've made any deposit, you can always simply check that by just going up here to funds and then you click on overview and then you can see if you go into your spot account right here, if the money has already arrived and has been credited. All right, so once you have some money right here on your account, we can now use it to leverage straight with it. And the first thing we have to do is actually transfer it from our spot account to our futures account. If we go back to your overview, you can see we have it now on our spot account, but to actually leverage straight with it, we need to make it into a futures account. So either the USDT M futures account or coin M futures account. The difference is if you have, you can actually leverage straight with different currencies that you have deposited as collaterals. So for example, if you have USDT deposited, which I like to use because you can trade lots of different trading pairs with it, I can just transfer that to my USDT M futures account. And by doing that, I just have to go up here, click on transfer 
I can choose from my spot account to my USDTM futures account, the US dollar tether token, how much of it, in my case, all of it, I can just click on confirm. And now I will have it not in my spot account anymore, but in my USDT M futures account. And now I can leverage trade with my USDT right here, any cryptocurrency that I would like. If you have a coin deposited, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can also transfer that to the coin M futures account and then use the coin M futures and trade, for example, Bitcoin with Bitcoin or Ethereum with your deposited Ethereum. It's just what you prefer. I prefer to do it with US dollar tether. So now we can go into the trading platform and to do that, we go up here and go to derivatives. And then as you can see, we also have the option between USDTM futures and CoinM futures. In my case, I'm again, I'm using USDTM futures, so I can click on that. And then I will get to this page right here. So this might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but it's actually really simple. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step now everything that you need to know. So first of all, up here, I can choose which currency do I even want to trade? So in this case, BTC USDT is selected, but I can of course trade, for example, Ethereum, XRP, any of these different trading pairs that you can see right here. So any different coin that I can trade. In my case, I'm gonna stick with Bitcoin. Then I can see some, yeah, some information up here, for example, the current price, the change, the volume, so some information about that. And here down below it, I can see the price chart. So this is just a cutout from trading view, as you can see right here. So I can actually get rid of some of these things, for example, the volume profile, some of these uh, moving average averages that you can see right here. Let's get rid of them so we can only see the price chart. So if you click on this little arrow right here, you could draw, for example, some lines in here. Um, you could also, yeah, measure some, for example, some price movements right here is, if you want to do so. So this is pretty useful. If you go back here and here on top, you can choose the candle size. So in this case, we are at the four hour candle. So every candle right here represents four hours, but you can also go, for example, into the daily chart right here. Now every candle is one day. Or in my case, I'm actually gonna go, let's go into the five minute chart so you can actually see more of what the price action that's happening right here. So now we can see right here on the right side, the order book. So all the selling orders in the market right now up here and all the buying orders in green down here. And below it, we can also see the recently happened trades. And at the bottom right here, this is where we can see our positions. So if we have an open position, which we'll, we'll do in just a bit, we can see it down here. You can also see your orders that you have opened right here your transaction and your order history as well. Here on the right side, you can see some information about your currently deposited assets. So in my case, as you can see, I'm in, at the USDT right here. I can see my available balance of the 116 US dollars that I have um, transferred to my futures account. You can also transfer some here again if you forgot to do so, or you wanna transfer some more money, you can do that directly from here, or also buy if you need to buy some more. And if we go up here, this is actually the section where we can control all of our trades. So we can open a position, choose the different size, and that's actually what we're gonna do right now. So the first thing we have to do if you want to open a position is go up here and choose the type of leverage that you want to use. Obviously we want to open, so we can choose, for example, let's say I wanna open a long position. So here I can choose the leverage for long. Up here, you can choose what margin mode you wanna use. In my case, I often, I just re always recommend to use isolated. So we're gonna go on isolated. And here you can now choose what leverage you wanna use. You can use an up to 125X leverage, which is really, really high. In this case, to show you, I'm actually just gonna stick with a 10X leverage. Then we can click on confirm. And now we can also see down here, which is pretty useful, because we're using a 10x leverage and we have 116 US dollars deposited, our maximum position size that we could use is these 1140, which means around about 10 times of the amount that we have down here. If I would switch that over to, let's say 20, you will see that my maximum position size that I could use right here, I have access to the 2260 US dollar tether. So 20 times of that right here. So this is how this actually works. Um, if you go back to 10x, because you wanna use 10x, here you can actually set how big you want your position to be. And now I can choose if I want to use a limit or market order, let's just go for market in this case. And now we can actually type in right here, how big we want our position to be. So I could say, for example, 500 USDT. So this will mean my position size will be 500, but I'm actually only using 50 US dollar tether of my own money because we're using a 10X leverage. So I'm using the $50, but 50 times my 10X leverage will mean I will actually have a position size of 500. I can also use the slide controller down here and choose how much of my position size I wanna be. If you check down here, this will actually go for my available balance from 0% to 100%. If I go to 100%, as you can see, 
this will be at exactly my balance down here because now I'm using all of my available capital. And the position size, as you can see right here, will be 10 times the amount down here. So in this case, 1,140 US dollar tether. If I choose that to 50% right here, you can see I will use 50% of my margin and the position size will be 10 times that, of course, which is 570 US dollar tether. In this case, I just want to type in something. So I'm just going to type in 500 USDT. And as you can see, we're using $50 of our own margin because that of the 10x leverage. I could also set a take profit and stop loss right here and type in a take profit price and a stop loss price. But I will actually show you how to do that if you have your position open because it's a little bit nicer to see there. So let's actually open the position. We can obviously go long and short. In this case, we're going to go long. So we want to profit from higher price if the price is going up. So just click on buy long right here. And as you can see, we have our position opened. We can see it right here with the $500. And we can directly also see our profit and loss right here, but we can also see it down here. And we can directly see our profit right here. In this case, four cents because the price has gone a little bit up. Okay, now it's going a little bit down, but this is actually what you can see right here. And if we scroll down a little bit more, here is where we can see our open position. And we're gonna go into that right now what is all the information that we can see right here. So first of all, we can see it's a BTC USDT perpetual long with an isolated 10x leverage. We can see how big is the position, in this case, the $500. We can see how much of our uh, margin do we have in here. It's in this case, $50. We could also, if we click on that, you could add some margin or deduct some margin. So take some margin off. Obviously, if the more margin you put in, the lower your liquidation price, in this case, in the long trade will be. Um, the li liquidation price you can see right here, which is a price if you don't have a stop loss set, which we don't have right now, but we're going to add one. But if you don't have any stop loss and your trade goes this much into the negative that basically all of your margin would be gone, then the trade will be closed automatically and you will lose everything that you have in your margin right here. So if you put in more margin, your liquidation price will be lower and you could have the position possibly opened longer in even if you're in a loss than if you have less margin. So this is how this works. Here you can see your average price, so which is basically at what price did you enter the position. And right here on the right, you can see your profit and loss. In this case, the price has gone down a little bit. So I'm 29 cents in a loss, which means 0.2% in this case. If you would take some partially profits, you will see that right here. And this is not really important. Here on the right side, you can also see some information, which we're going to into just a bit. And here down here, you can now set us take profit and stop loss. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna click on that. And now we get into this window, which is really, really nice and useful. We can now say we want to set a take profit and a stop loss. So up here, we can see a current price that we are at, which is 20,000. 270, for example, and now I want to make a take profit, let's say at 23,000 US dollars. And this will actually mean it will directly calculate for me, okay, I will have a profit if that price will be hit, I will have a profit of 66 US dollar tether. And I can also, of course, set a stop loss. For example, I want to say, all right, if the price goes to 19,500, for example, then I want my position also to be closed at a stop loss. And you can see, all right, this will mean I will have a loss of $18. Here down here, I can also say how much of my position I want to be closed. Obviously, if I go to 100%, I will take, I will close the entire position and take all of the profit. But I could, could also say, for example, 50% only of it, then I will close not the entire position, but only like $200. And then you can see also up here how the profit and loss goes up and down. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 100%. All of it, I can just click down here on confirm. And now you don't see anything, but it's actually right here at the stop. Okay, the price is going down now a little bit, whatever. If you go to stop limit, we can now see, all right, we have the take profit and stop loss right here. You could also click right here and switch that up if you want to do so. But here you can actually see, okay, I have my take profit and my stop loss. You could also click on revoke, then you will get rid of them again, but you can just leave them also right here. All right, let's actually go back to our position right here. You can of course wait until the take profit or stop loss will be hit, but in this case, I will show you how to close the position entirely right now. And to do that, we simply have to go here. Here we can close our position. You can click in here and say how much percent of the position you want to close. For example, you could say 50%, which will mean this amount, which is half of it, half of the amount right here. Or you can just say 100% and then you will close the entire position. So in this case, I wanna close the entire position. 
and I'm gonna click on close long right here. And as you can see, now I'm out of the position again. Don't forget to create an account on XT.com by using the link down from the video description to get the 20% discount on all trading fees forever. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.